Girl, chill out and have a cupcake. Hey guys, it's Shayna, and today I am going to do a new series called Ask Shayna. Hashtag A-S-K-S-H-A-I-N-A. Well, this is where you guys get to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them for you. So, to kick things off, one of the most frequently asked questions ever is how do I get my hair so massive and when it's all big and gigantic-ish? I'm gonna show you the two methods that I use. One of them is my Pocahontas braids and the other method is in the last video how I banded my hair. In this video, my hair is not wet because I had just got done washing my hair and I'm moving to the next phase, which is how I stretch my hair. I put all of my products in my hair. If you want a complete list of that, head over to sugarstilettostyle.com and it's all listed there. I put a ponytail holder around my hair and I will go ahead and start detangling my hair. Normally, I will put all of my hair in one ponytail, but since I'm doing two hairstyles in the video, that's why my hair is separated. There are several times where I just don't feel like dealing with all of my hair at once and will break it up into two ponytails to band it as well. Still comes out super cute to me. You can do either of these styles on wet or dry hair. It'll still, your hair will still stretch. I use a little bit of water in my hair because it keeps my hair from tearing out and while I'm combing. I'll put the ponytail holder around my hair and then I'll grab a couple of rubber bands and start just literally sliding them over my hair. I don't twist them um, unless I get to, until I get to the bottom where it absolutely needs it to stay in place. But I don't want the bands to um, completely restrict my hair. So I normally use six to eight rubber bands and they're usually spaced about an inch apart. It's, it's not technical measurement. And then I'll just tie the bottom off, um, the very, very bottom off with one rubber band and I will loop that around several times so that my ends can all lay down. After my hair has been stretched, I will put my hair back into this hairstyle to maintain it. So that's the first one. The second one is the little Pocahontas braids and that's nothing more than two French braids. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see that. What I like to do is start braiding right at the um, center and then I'll start pulling hair forward from like the center of my head. That way it decreases the number of bumps that you have from your hair bunching up and trying to fit into the braid. And then once I get down to about the top of my ear, I'll start pulling the hair, um, the hair from the center directly across toward my ear. And then once I get to the bottom, I will just go ahead and braid my hair down. Make sure, um, for this hairstyle, it's very, very important that you keep your hands braiding the same direction. So for instance, I started braiding my hair over going down. Once I got to the nape of my neck, I had to flip my hands around. If you don't flip your hands around to match, your braid will start twisting. I'll braid it all the way down to the end. Once I get to the end, I'll just grab a rubber band and go ahead and secure my ends. And this hairstyle can last anywhere from four days to one week. One of my absolute favorite go-tos. If you have any bumps or anything, just take a bobby pin, smooth your hair down, and stick it in. Alright guys, so that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below or you can hashtag me on social media. Hashtag A-S-K-S-H-A-I-N-A. Ask Shayna. Links are in the description box. Don't forget to follow me everywhere so that you can see everything because there's a lot that I don't post on YouTube that will only be posted like on my blog or on Instagram or whatever. So make sure you're following so you can stay in touch. Thanks for watching. Time to go get a cupcake. See you in the next one. Bye.